So it's our first battles in Ultra League. We are gonna copycat. We haven't played since uh, last week, so we're still we're still in the lower ranks. But we're gonna take some copycat battles here. We'll start with a starter team. This has been a, a reliable team for us. We've got some counters to some interesting stuff. Should be fun. And we'll just kind of see where the day goes, yeah? We'll kind of just see where the day goes. Oh, I should switch this Venusaur. Because I have access to a Shadow Venusaur, which is going to be, I think, a little more reliable for us. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Wish us luck. It's Ultra League time. It's Ultra League time. Let's see how much Stardust we spend today in Ultra League. I have a feeling it might be a reasonably high amount. Um, all right, so we've got Skeledurge and a Alolan Muck. Which is not a matchup I'm thrilled about, but they are on Poison Jab, as is kind of the norm for uh, Alolan Mucks, which we resist. So I think this matchup is relatively close with the real rub here being, do they bait us, right? I think I can safely eat a dark move anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That's what I thought. Acid Spray is not going to kill us. So they're going to have to sh use both of their shields if they want to. Uh, no, they're, they're not that interested in coming out with switch advantage. All right. And then we get an Obstagoon. That's fine. Um, we can put Venusaur onto Obstagoon and be pretty happy. We're probably not shielding here either. There's not enough energy for anything other than Night Slash or Obstruct. What I get the sense of is uh, whether or not they're wanting to be shielding here will probably tell me quite a bit about their last Pokemon. That's a, that's a big shield. And tells me that their last Pokemon, there's a high probability that it's a Ferg. Which is always what we're expecting in the back. Or, so, I mean, something to cover the, uh... Like, I'm probably gonna just farm and shield again. As I think that we'll get pretty good value out of Shadow Venusaur's charge moves into almost anything in the back, so... Especially with the muck out of the way. I'd be very surprised if the back Pokemon... Uh... Nope, it's a Cress. Yeah, I would've been shocked if the back Pokemon double resisted uh what we were doing i also just realized i'm still on crunch here which is not correct generally speaking but is gonna be correct here um they're gonna have grass knot but we should get at least one crunch in Okay, they kill me. We do get to farm them with the Venusaur now because they just weren't able to uh, or hopefully farm them with the Venusaur. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Even if that uh, last Pokemon bet alive, we got to just exactly the right amount of energy. So GG's. All right, starter team gets a win. Uh, mostly on the strength of that clutch no shield on the acid spray and we're good to go we're good to go the crest being bulk as bulky as it was wasn't really what I was hoping to see in the back but it's all right uh, a Ferga later lead that is less good shadow Ferg is gonna be a problem out of the lead for us uh, as is Ampharos coming in on the swap we do really want switch advantage here 
probably enough to be spending shields to generate it. Especially if they're on Trailblaze. The problem is if we're all the way behind on shields, which we're bound to be here. Right? Oh, come on. That's pretty bad. So that stutter lag probably cost us a lot there. I think we should have gotten a Hydra Cannon since they went for the farm. Oh, and they've got the Brutal Swing. Yeah, that's not good. And they've already got the Hydra Cannon here. Yeah, I think we've, I think we've lost. Unfortunately, I needed to generate advantage on that swap at the very least, and we just didn't. Um, like this matchup. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> And they've got talent flame cool so that's an rpsing and uh we're just gonna move on with our day we're gonna move on with our day um so our first copycat of the day is gonna be a shadow ampharos we're gonna spend some dust on this team we are we're gonna we're gonna spend some dust on this team and then the talent flame in the back we have already built okay we're gonna spend we're gonna spend some resources to get some pokemon ready to go um let me just make sure that this Ampharos is the one i want got a lot of these idiots around but yeah we're gonna build a shadow Ampharos. not sure they were on trailblaze they were on trailblaze brutal swing so i think i i think i see the utility of that and will probably mimic it And spend some stardust today yeah we'll spend some stardust today but also it learns power gem for some reason that's fun uh so we want volt switch and we want this to be uh brutal swing there we go and then the uh the tota dial actually you know what let's not, let's just for for speed's sake, we'll stick with the, our regular Ferg in the lead. It's still quite good. And we'll uh, we'll be able to copycat more quickly. I think they're just you're just counting on somebody to safe swap Ferg into your Ampharos, basically. Or Ferg into your Ferg. Pangoro. I don't think this is a terribly good matchup for us right because they're taking almost no damage from our from our fast move but this is a feels like a telegraphed uh night slash or brick break so if they're gonna telegraph i don't have to worry quite as much about maybe okay We'll see what they want to do. I'm likely to switch here. Um, yeah, we're going to switch. You going to blow me out or what? I mean, the upside here is that obviously like these still feel like night slashes. They're still night slashes. So they've just been all aboard the night slash train. Oh, ho, ho, ho. well, it's not what i wanted but it's not actually the worst because we're gonna need the boost anyway so that this uh fly actually kills them and they didn't get a charge move off at all so i'm feeling pretty good about the fact that i still have a shield i've got a boost oh no zapdos that's less good um Let's see where this puts me. Zapdos is real squishy. Yeah, there we go. And then Ampharos can clean up. Okay, we're good. 
we're good uh team's a bit weird um team was a bit weird out of our opponent i'm kind of glad we're not copycatting the shadow zapdos team <laughs> i uh don't know that i have one of those ready to go uh, but i'm sure i have one in my inventory but okay 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 we won or two games where we didn't get savagely rps so there's that all right one palaz i mispronounced that i'm sure cliff fable okay sure Team's pretty neutral to Clefable across the board, right? Uh, I, th I have an Ultra League Panda Evolved Collector. That one I actually do. I don't have a Great League one. I think we're going to no shield the first move out of this. Because I think it's a Swift. Yeah, and Swift is not that impressive. Non-stab swift is not that impressive. Two non-stab swifts is also not that impressive. I, I, I know I'm letting this kind of go down a bit, but like, I feel like, uh, we're pretty much favored in the one, we're pretty favored in the one shield here to say the least. So... I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that, I think. The other thing we could do here is uh I mean if they shield, we're definitely switching again, right? That's our that's our game plan. We're not shield we're not shielding a swift. They can swift all they want. Like, we're just not shielding it. Oh, Meteor Mash. Okay, we're definitely not shielding resisted Meteor Mash. So. <laughs> okay. And Umbreon. I wish I was on the, uh, the fighting move, but. Or a more powerful, uh, you know, a more powerful move. I think what we're going to try and do here is uh tank the foul play which we do and throw another trailblaze we're gonna keep the shield for talon flame i'm pretty i feel pretty good about talon flames matchup kind of across the board if we uh we get a little running start which we will and the shield I don't have to shield any of Umbreon's charge moves, so we're going to get the full three. And I can go for a boost. Or we can go double. Uh... I mean, I'm guessing they're going to try and catch something here. Depending on what their last Pokemon is. Okay. Oh, we should have gone for the boost. Yeah, this is a this is a big miss for me. I, I literally was like, they're going to, they're going to just come in and they're going to do a, uh, they're going to come in and on the first incinerate, they'll just go ahead and try and catch. And if we had boosted there, I think we'd be in a little bit better shape, but I think we're going to be okay. Anyway, I'm going to land another fly here. And then I think we can just immediately swap to our Ferg and Shadow Claw them out. Right? Yeah. So. And if they had the energy for a Surf there, they have to throw it and then they won't get another one before we uh, kill them. So. Pretty easy uh, end game for us to play through there. Good old Talon Flame up a shield. Aside from our one just really badly telegraphed fly, uh, we 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 played that pretty okay. Uh, Verizian, Verizian is a problem. <laughs> 
Especially because I don't have Ice Beam. Now that I realize I don't have Ice Beam, I am in deep shit. Um, our best case scenario here, they have Leaf Blade, um, is that they shield. Yeah, we did get the shield. But I don't know that we can win this game. Like, I, I should be on Ice Beam. That is the correct moveset for us. Um, but I'm not. What's up, Kutsuki? I mean, it's a video game. So I'm pretty sure that's the reality of people these days is that we're pretty blase about killing people. So we have to sack this and just put Verizian on them. Um, we don't know if they have Stone Edge, unfortunately, or we have to put uh, Talonflame on them. What they should do is switch, but we're going to have to probably just shield and hope. Because if they have Stone Edge, we just lose. Nope. Shielded a Leaf Blade. That, that feels bad. Okay. If it's another Leaf Blade, we're fine. If it's a stone edge, we lose. Nope, we played. That's fine. Okay. Ferg. So the question here is, how much damage does Fly do, and does two of them kill him? Land both the Flies, and then switch. I am comically underreacting is my, is my cup of tea, so my thing no oh, muck muck you bro oh I should have thrown I needed to get the damage in we needed to set up basically a scenario where because it'll be dark pulse right which oh Oh, we're alive. We're alive. We're alive. We're alive. This might work. We need to set up a scenario where the Talon Flame can get the farm it needs to win CMP. Right. Which is going to be really tight here. We need to survive this move. And then we need to win CMP over Ferg. Move survived. <laughs> does it kill him it has to kill him too it does wow all right well um sometimes it's better to be lucky than good um although we were a little bit of both there we played to our outs our outs worked out we'll take we'll take the fourth win ggs Woo.